Hello, my name is Dimitri Kanarov and I'm a journalist with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. I'm here in Poland right now reporting on shale gas development in the country. Uh, studies indicate that uh, Poland may hold huge reserves of uh, shale gas and uh, the government has been extremely enthusiastic about this. Uh, the country right now is spearheading the, the development of this resource in Europe and currently there are about 30 companies, both uh, local companies and international uh, gas and oil companies, exploring for shale gas in the country um, over a territory of about 90,000 square kilometers, uh, which, uh, which is about a third of, of the entire territory of the country. Now, there's a lot of support uh, for this uh, exploration uh, from the government as well as uh, from the majority of Poles uh, who believe that uh, this new resource would make them energy independent from Russia. Uh, now, uh, this uh, debate on shale gas in Poland is extremely politicized and the first thing one has to understand about it is that, uh, yes, it's about economics, uh, yes, it's about uh, uh, alternative uh, uh, sources of fossil fuels, but, uh, uh, but mainly it is about politics. And um, Poland has uh, had a, uh, an antagonistic relationship uh, with Russia for many years, uh, starting uh, with, the 19, with the late 18th century and uh, going through the 19th century and, and the communist takeover of the country after the Second World War. So, uh, so relationships with, with Russia have not been very rosy and people uh, generally feel uh, that, that their uh, neighbor to the east is a threat. So, uh, so this resource is, is considered something of a national asset, a way to make, to make Poland uh, independent from Russia and, uh, and uh, improve its energy security. Um, apart from this argument though, um, right now there very little has been done on the ground. Uh, there have been some drillings, but, uh, but uh, not enough to indicate whether indeed uh, Poland holds such kind of resources. Uh, another, another problem is that uh, uh, local communities uh, where drilling is ongoing um, have been uh, largely ignored and their opinion has been ignored. Uh, so uh, there hasn't been much, much public debate on the issue really. Uh, there, there isn't much opposition here to this because um, shell gas is considered so important to national security. But generally, there are uh, many concerns, um, especially uh, in terms of uh, environmental issues, uh, whether uh, where uh, companies will take the huge amounts of water needed for fracking, where uh, the flowback will be will be um, recycled. So these are these are major questions that that polls are looking at and looking at the experience in the United States, uh, uh, both uh, positive and negative and uh, trying to decide whether this is, uh, this is a good resource for them or whether it could be uh, economically viable at all to extract it. Um, now, I'll be looking at different issues while I'm here. I'll be looking at uh, some of the political issues. I'll be looking at the economic as well as environmental and social issues. Um, I'll be talking to uh, people on the ground, locals as well as uh, local officials, uh, government officials, uh, industry representatives, and trying to uh, to uh, build a, a, a more complete picture of this uh, of this issue. So uh, yes, uh, stay tuned and uh, enjoy the articles. Thank you.